Hey YouTube, I thought I'd do an update. Um, here's the scoop. I still have not eaten pretty much anything other than crackers, soup, Gatorade, baby food, fruits, um, and toast. I just started having toast and a bagel once in a while. And keeping that in, down, it's the only really things I can eat that are staying in me, either I vomit or get diarrhea. Nice and pleasant. Um, saw the surgeon yesterday. Good news is he's willing to do me here in town. Um, I don't have to go to the bigger city um, to see the specialized team for bear, uh, whatever. Um, bad news is he wants to do it soon, but first I have to be cleared medically with a battery of crazy ass tests and pray that these next two doctors clear me so that he can, can remove my gallbladder. Um, one, they have to do a CAT scan um, as soon as possible. Sorry, there we go. As soon as possible. Because um, whatever they found on the kidney, the cyst, or whatever's on there, they want to know what it is and make sure it's not nothing too serious or something they have to do first. <sighs> Only problem is the CAT scan here is backed up and my doctor hasn't got a date. <clears throat> so please pray that it doesn't take forever to, sorry, take forever to uh, get an appointment. Um, then next week is crazy and I have to have every cardiac test known to the world um, pretty much <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice um, everything from EKGs an echo stress test halter monitor for 48 hours I think that's all of them and blood work um, so that's next week's all appointments um, I have had most of them. Other one I had never had is the stress test, which is walking on a treadmill. So that will be a telltale sign if my heart is okay. Because that's usually when all the heart issues kind of start. But they have been much better since starting the medication and upping the last dose. Um, it's been much better. So I will see. Um, yeah, so if, that, if those all those tests come back a-okay, or nothing that's going to kill me right away, um, then that doctor will clear me for surgery. And then I have to meet the an anesthetist, which is the doctor that puts you to sleep, and see him. I, I, had, I was put to sleep a couple years back for my kidney stones, and I came out of it no problem. So I'd, I'm hoping that he does it okay and he, he okays me and yes, I'm high risk and I'm crazy high risk, but I can't go on not eating. I'm going to go crazy. Seriously. <laughs> um, so once all those appointments are done and all those test routers are on, if he clears me, the heart doctor clears me, and then I have to get off my uh, blood thinners. Which is not a big deal because I would like one less pen medication for a while. That'd be nice. Um, so that would be the last thing, and then hopefully after all that, I will have my surgery. Um, the only thing is concerning me is the kidney thing because I don't know what it is, and I'm praying it doesn't need to be fixed or done something to it, that. It will just go away on its own. If it's a cyst, or I don't know. So please pray that all these tests come back okay, and that I'm cleared, and that there's nothing seriously wrong with my kidney. Because going on and not being able to keep anything down kind of sucks. It's kind of ironic, because for so long I was making myself sick. Um... I know people aren't going to get this, but there is a difference between purging, like self-induced vomiting, and then vomiting when there's actually sickness or something rejecting your body, because it's totally different. I guess it, 
what me and my friend put it down to is control. You're controlling it when you're doing it yourself, whether it's involuntary when you're actually sick. And I hate vomiting when it's I'm not in control. It sucks. Um, yeah, so oh, how much I miss food, tasting food. Sometimes I just eat whatever the hell we're having or what whatever we doing eating just to taste and to um chew something. And then I get sick. I know within half an hour I'm in the bathroom. But sometimes I just have to because I go crazy not tasting and eating something. Because you can only eat soda crackers, Gatorade, soup, broth soups, um, toast with no butter or anything on it. Kind of sucks. I didn't realize how much toast tastes bad when you don't have anything on it. <laughs> I'm gonna re I'm gonna hate Gatorade at the end of the all this. Oy. And I have Boost too, which I actually like the taste of the juice. I got there at the rail in Canada. It's called Boost Juice. And it's not um, dairy based, and it's just like a drinking box of. Don't have any beside me. Um, they like boosted its juice. It's not as um, calorie dense as the uh, actual milkshake kind of thingy one. It's just almost like a snack, and that's like 180 calories and a bunch of vitamins. That's pretty much why I drink it. So that was what I'm living on. Yeah, it sucks. Um, it's been a hard week, um, between not feeling good and always being frustrated because I can't eat anything. Um, my mom's aunt died last week when mom went, my mom went on vacation and we didn't get the call till yesterday that she had passed away very, we saw her the Sunday. I guess she went up very fast and died Tuesday. She was older, but it's not. It's just hard because mom was close to her, and it's so close to my dad. Um, then we found out that my mom's cousin, who she grew up with, brother died. So it's been like this whirlwind of like, and then another friend, husband died this week, last week. So it seems like everyone's dying. It's crazy. I've had more deaths and funerals the last six months than I've ever had in my entire life, and it's just hard because. My dad is just hits home, and Monday was a really bad day for me. Um, it was a six-month anniversary since he died, and I just cried pretty much the entire day. Um, but some days are a new day, and he know he's watching over us, and I miss him. But so many things have changed since then, since he passed. It's just crazy. Um, that's about it. So pray that I get these test results and the better thing comes okay and that hopefully it doesn't take super long time before. Only plus side of all this is that I'm losing weight. <laughs> you can't tell by my face because it's swollen from purging so much. And my poor teeth are falling apart because all the vomiting. Yeah, so... The only good thing is that I am dropping weight. Um, I go to Weight Watchers today, so we'll see how much I lost. Going to one scale I was on yesterday, I had lost like nine pounds since last Thursday. But every scale is different with me, so I'm going to go by the Weight Watchers one, and we will see what happens. Love you, and hope everyone's doing well. Bye.